Hello internet people. Two weeks ago I ordered this primo creme de la creme f***ing dog's bollocks equipment off Timu. No, it was AliExpress. Cock. It arrived in this video here, we tested it, and it wasn't terrible. Now that got me thinking, and I know the audio elite f***ing eat me alive here, but what I want to know is what happens if you follow the basic principles of a transmission line using cheap equipment? Is it good enough? Now for those of you that don't know, here is 60 seconds on transmission line that probably misses out a lot of information but hopefully covers the basics well enough so at the end of this video I can show you a product that uses all the theory that I've put together in this video that hasn't been a complete fucking waste of time and money. So, every audio frequency has a wavelength. It looks a bit like this, goes the whole way through. This is a full wavelength. Quarter, half, three quarter, something like that. Now. A full wavelength, for example, is really, really long. For example, 40 hertz has a full wavelength of 334 inches. Now that is too long. You're never going to be able to get that out. What you can do, however, is use the quarter wave point of that, which in 40 hertz's case comes down to about 84.75 inches. Wonderful. How does that make any sense whatsoever to a transmission line? A transmission line is essentially a box that is completely port. There's no big chamber involved in it like you would have in a standard ported box. In this situation, what you actually have is a line length that is equidistant to the line, that, the length that you need for your given quarter wave frequency. So, for example, remember the 40 hertz that we have here, the quarter wave over here, 84.75 inches. So, in this situation, here, the furthest part of the line, all the way around to the opening, is, will be 84.75 inches. The other key thing you need to know is that this gap in here, this, this, this space where the line is, has to be a certain distance depending on what speaker you're using and that makes a big difference. What you need to do is make sure you're only taking into account the moving parts of the speaker. For example, halfway through one of the surrounds to halfway through one of the other surrounds. For example, on this one it's going to be two inches. That is going to be my moving mass. Now, how is what that then tells us is that this path here needs to have a cross-sectional square inch area of 3.142 square inches, which can be 1 inch by 3 inch, 1.5 by 2 inches, whatever way you want to do it. You math it out. And one of the main benefits I'm interested in this is that with a standard ported sort of mass-loaded box, you have a 24 per dB octave roll-off, which means that essentially under your 40 hertz tuning in this situation, you're going to lose a lot more output a lot faster than with a transmission line that only has a 12 dB per octave roll-off, which means it rolls off twice as slowly as your standard ported box. And that, in a nutshell, is it. That is what you need to know. Now, I know there's going to be some people in the comments that are going to write, you're not doing it properly, or there's another way of doing transmission lines, or something along those bloody lines. I'm aware this is to show the basic principles and whether you can make shit, shit speakers sound a bit less shit, shit. Got it? Right. I'm going to go spend some money I don't have on a project that I don't know if it's going to work. So can you do me a favour and give this video a like to boost the algorithm somewhat so that I get more ad revenue and my girlfriend doesn't murder me when she finds out I've spent more money on, on, on cheap Chinese crap. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> Drove 40 minutes for that. Now, I'm not normally one to moan or swear, but if you're going to offer a f***ing timber service, then don't let me drive 45 minutes out of my f***ing way on a f***ing weekend off when I'm planning to film a f***ing video. Ah! F***ing day. And now I've got to drive to another f***ing town because there's no Fucking timber saws and fucking closer to where I fucking well am. Now I phoned this shop. They have confirmed to me on the phone that their timber saw works. We got three speakers. We got three piles of wood. Let's see how badly this is going to go. It's time for a montage. Keeps fucking raining.
plan was to have all three built, but it's rained on and off all day, so it's been a bit of a nightmare. It's now 7 p.m. The neighbours don't need peace and quiet. transmission lines built by somebody who doesn't overly know what they're doing in the hopes that this might turn some cheap really basic Chinese equipment into something not completely terrible. Just a quick reminder these should be tuned to around 60 odd hertz. I'm not expecting miracles from them but we'll see what happens and the sub over here should be tuned to about 35 hertz using the formula I said about at the start of this video. I'm quite nervous because I've, I've, I've got about 80 quid in wood so so what I'm doing is using the auxiliary cord from the laptop into one of these amps powered by the drill battery. Everything you saw in the review video is being used here apart from a voltmeter because it was shit. I'll tell you what. There's quite a lot still to go. My favourite thing about this is that everyone on the internet made transmission lines sound really complicated. Rewatch the start of this video because this works. What I will say is that these fade out really quickly below about, they're tuned to 60 hertz, but they fade out really quickly below about 55. Personally, I like a bit more, but this fills the gap epically. So this is 35 hertz, these are 60 hertz, and it just whoop, all the way, all the way. God, good. Creme to the fucking dog's bollocksy creme. So something a little different. We're going to try some what they call 8D songs. Not 3D, 4D or 5D. This is 8D. Which is... No, we're not. That's copyright. Working. What would it look like? Even the adverts. Monday.com can make it your reality. Monday the adverts com, sound unreal. No the Absolutely size, unbelievable. simply work better. Monday.com adapts to every I, can, I recommend this. I re this is good. Good. This is good. This is very, very good. I recommend. Very nice. I like it. Look, the sub's not moving that much, but the window is rattling like shit. So crystal clear. I, I really wish you could come and listen to this. I don't know if it's coming through is 
how clear the lower notes are. The, the, the thumb on the E string. I can confidently tell you, I would happily have these in my living room if I was better at carpentry. So everybody on the internet makes transmission lines seem impossible. Go watch the start of this video again. Look at the links in the description. Basically follow the instructions that I gave you and you'll have these. Now this cost me approximately 60, maybe 70 pounds in materials for the, for the boxes. I think all the speakers together cost me about 150 pounds. This amp was, as I say, seven or eight pounds. So yeah, I'm maybe about 150 to 160 pounds in. But this is better than what you could buy in the shop. I, I genuinely believe, like quality for quality, the the amp, everything together, I believe this is better than what you can buy in a shop for the same amount of money. So please go and have some fun. Learn, do something new. Just just do explore. Sound is more than a ported box. Sound is more than a seal box. We have transmission lines, horn, folded horn. There's so many different types of stuff for different purposes out there. Go and have some fun. Which brings me on to my next point. I believe one of you is about to win some money. But before we do that, I asked you guys to get me to 5,000 subscribers. Holy fuck. This is kind of crazy to me. I've had around 200 subscribers per day for the last two weeks. About two years ago, I had 500 and it took me 10 years to get that many. So. Thank you, everybody. I'm gonna carry on doing this stuff. Subscribe, hit the bell button, because I love doing it, you love watching it, and apparently everyone loves when I headbutt the desk. Although I am gonna be honest, it's starting to have some ill effects. Right, let's do a giveaway. Now, if you don't win this one, don't shit your pants, because I'm at 7,000 now. If I get to 10,000 subscribers, I'm gonna do another one. It's gonna be bigger because how this works is, the more ad revenue I get, the more I can sponsor you guys to go and have some fun and make your own videos. And just a reminder, that is the whole point of this giveaway. If your name gets picked and you're not up for making a cheeky little video about whatever you're gonna build with the stuff from the money that I'm gonna give you, please say that someone else can have it. I've just spent the last hour of my life going through all the comments and writing down everybody's name that said they were gonna be up for the challenge. Now. I'm aware, yes, I have only people that commented and saying I'm going to be up for the challenge because if you haven't said you're going to be up for the challenge, I don't just want to send you money for no reason. The whole point of this is that you go away and you have some fun. You do this. You do what I'm doing and you make a video for your channel because then we can collaborate. Who knows? Get to 10,000, 20,000, whatever subscribers as the channel grows. We've got commenters from all around the world. There's New Zealand, Kenya, Australia. There's some people in fucking Zimbabwe. Let's get a global thing go, I don't know, I'm just fucking... How this is gonna work is I'm gonna enter all of these names into an online raffle random name generatory kind of type thing, and it's gonna pick out one of you as the winner. Now what you need to do is comment on this video within 48 hours, and I'll feature your video in my next video. That's how this is gonna work. Right, let's see which one of you lucky bastards has got 40 English pounds to spend on some cheap Chinese. <laughs> I'm going to copy all of these, go over to Raffley's. These are all the names, 117 names, 117 of you, I have typed out your name. Okay, start, confirm, participants, 117, this is all of you, this is all of you. Hopefully you can see your name, if you commented saying you'd be up for the challenge, you will be in this list somewhere. Let's go. Seven, six, five, four, three. You can probably count to be fair. The winner is Mike Ox. <laughs> oh my God, that is so bloody perfect for this channel. Mike Oxlong 1897, you have won yourself 40 English pounds to go and have some fun. Spend it, please spend it on some cheap speakers, build them into a cabinet. Remember, you can get these amps, Mike Oxlong. <laughs> <laughs> what the fucking odds of that happening? You can get one of these amps for about £10 and they are so good. Have some fun with it. 
As I say, if you didn't win, don't panic. There's going to be more. Hit the bell because my cock song's only got 48 hours to comment before I pick somebody else. Subscribe to the channel, continue making this one of the fastest growing audio based YouTube channels and I will keep basically giving back to you. Sounds like a good deal to me. Anyway, I've been Adam, you've been amazing. Thank you so much for your support and as always, be good to each other. Take care.